Well, it was a simple post on Facebook a month ago inviting anyone who wanted to be part of an art protest to come to Waitangi. Dressed in black or white, it said, and bring a white flag. The call was from Tamaete, and of course, they came. Many hadn't been to Waitangi before, but felt compelled to be here. They came from across the motu to be with this man. There are many people that, that spoke to me that they were, they would come the first time that they felt they wanted to belong to something. Yeah. Hmm. How does it make you feel in your your manawa? Your heart seems to well, There is hope for, for a change in this country. The white flags signalling a blank canvas, a fresh start, but not the sort of fresh start the coalition government is talking about. I don't really care Dan, what the government going to do. Not my issue. <laughs> We're just going to carry on and be who we are. While the hikoi also honoured Nga Tamatoa, Māori protest of the past 50 years, the wairua, or spirit of the hikoi, was all about unity and peace. Who would have thought, eh? Tamaiti would be the peacemaker. <laughs> I think we've come a long way. We walk together. We walk together. Young and old, they march together. With chants acknowledging previous Māori triumphs, hundreds more who had come to watch compelled to join in, like Moana Nui Davis. Oh, I'm very overwhelmed, it's quite heartfelt. Um, I don't agree with the things that are going on along with politics at the moment, so I agree with his kōrero, yeah. Well, lots of people do, clearly, because what a turnout. Yeah, there's so many people, um, and they're my people. <laughs> I'm <laughs> proud to be Māori. With the hikoi now two or three times its original size, the art protest painted a powerful picture, even if no one really knew how it would end up looking. What happens at the end? I have no clue. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <laughs> as they rose as one on the crest of the upper treaty ground, complete with accompanying soundtrack. Yes, it was awesome. Among those leading the group onto the pai, Tamaiti's own mukupuna. I think the piece itself speaks enough and that I can speak about the, the, the corridor in, in my body movement and in, in how I move and so that's exactly what I did. So instead of doing a fight corridor, I spoke with my body. And you spoke so well, it was <laughs> amazing. Thank you. A taonga made by Tamaiti celebrating Nga Tamatoa. Also unveiling a form of protest he reckons may be better suited for today's young Māori. It's a new breed, smart. They didn't carry the trauma that we carried. My nanny ain't called on. It's a new breed coming. I'm excited by it. And Sam, it's hard not to feel Tamaiti is on to something here, engaging the rangatahi, the young people, making them feel like they do have a say, even if it's just with their mere presence. And that's been the kaupapa or theme for Tiwi Māori's response to the coalition government's proposed changes over the past couple of months. Quite simply, they have turned up in huge numbers. And expect another big crowd here tomorrow for a massive hikoi arriving and, of course, the official dawn ceremony, which you can watch live on TV3 from 5 a.m. Yes, powerful stuff. Tēnā koe, Mike. Thanks so much. And, of course, we will have full coverage and analysis of our National Day's events from Mike and the News Hub team on the ground at Waitangi here at 6 on 3.